Hi everyone, it's Moddy here and Andrew from the little shop in the middle of nowhere. So we've got some exciting stuff. We've started a, another division of our business called Ant Marine Products. We just get so many people, all the custom fit outs and stuff that we do, all the you know stuff we do all over the country, we had so many people wanting all this custom stuff. So that's what we decided to do. We put something up a couple of weeks ago about this product and now we're going to release it. It'll be available now. So. Andrew, you're taking some home. I hope so. It's, it's on one of the boats. Actually, we're down here at uh, Somerset, actually doing a boat reveal today, so it'll be very exciting. So, this, Andrew, this will be the first boat we've won. This will be the first one with. Anyway, without further ado, tell us, as you are the technical guru in this stuff, right? It's over to you. Uh, so, Amp is doing a what we're going to call a live scope disconnect socket. Um, we're calling it that because it allows you to disconnect your live scope transducers attached to your pole so that they're no longer connected to your GLS box and you can store your pole or your transducer away. Um, you don't have to leave it on the deck of your boat. It also gives you the advantage of if you've got a front and a back or two live scope positions, you can move them around. There's lots of benefits for it. We'll go into that at a different stage. But right. the, the concept is you can disconnect it. Okay, um, let's go. The kit comes with several parts. It comes with everything that you need to put it together. Together. Um, the major part is obviously the cable. Um, it's an extension cable, it's roughly 10 foot long. You've got your end which goes into your GLS box. We supply the kit with a typical Garmin two piece connector too, so if you need to chop that off to fit it through somewhere, you can and reattach that. The other end is what remains to be your socket with the pins on it. Over the top of the socket, we've got our 3D printed uh, compression type fitting. Now, as you install that, you'll have the edge of the boat, console, whatever it is that you've just pushed that through to mount it to. That then clips over the top like so and creates a face that you see there like that. We then have a cover panel, which is identifiable because it's got the live scope labeling on it. So you can see there, that sits over the top. We also have in the kit, uh, two different types of fixing options. There are three, all 316 stainless, but you've got either an eight gauge screw to screw, or you've got an M5 bolt and a nylon nut and washer tape. As it falls down. You don't want it to do that. That's so this is all for fresh and salt water. This is this came about with a lot of the bigger boats that we do with LiveScope. A lot of those guys didn't want the pole in there all the time. So we've designed this for both fresh and salt water. So it makes no difference where you go. That's why we use the sails and everything else. Obviously, if you've got your uh, transducer disconnected from it, um, you're gonna have exposed pins there. So what we've also made is a waterproof cover socket. Now I won't go into it because it's quite firm once it goes in so it doesn't come off. But the concept is basically, you can screw that over the edge with it but it creates a waterproof seal on the front so there you go and you can disconnect that plug in your live scope transducer and disconnect it as you please so that's just another great uh, product from ant products there is literally there's tons of in that box. There's tons and tons <laughs> of stuff going uh we just thought we get asked this all the time this is the first one this will be available we'll have the pricing up soon it's that new we don't even have a price for it just yet we will be working all that out. It'll be available very soon. Uh, once again, that's just what we do in Little Shop in the middle of nowhere. Okay, there's the live scope. The new adapter that we've done. So here we are, we're staying at Somerset Park. Just about ready to go on the water. We've got the pole, our live scope pole, obviously put away. Let's thread the pole. Taking that off, got our cover on. So what do we want to do? We want to go over now, just stick it in to the mount. Now we can take that cord, we can undo our screw, get the little slot, put it in. We're ready to go for the day. Right. Go, move the pole. Now I want you to take it back out. So here we are. What do we want to do? It's just a matter of undoing that. And I put it back into the cap back on. Simple as that. Take it back off. 
tight, we tighten it up again. 